Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get this super sparkly bluish kind of look. It's one of my favourite that I've done so far, it's just so glam and this was just supposed to be for Instagram but I thought why not to put post it on YouTube as well. <laughs> We're going to start off with some skincare. I like to put um, aloe vera gel like generously on my skin and we're also going to go in with some Pathology night eye masks. It's for nighttime, but you know can't do no harm <laughs> and I'm going to sit with these two on my skin for like 15 minutes. Then we're going to go in finally with some makeup <laughs> but actually first wipe off everything. <laughs> um, you guys like these voiceovers so I thought why not do more you say it's therapeutic you know who doesn't love watching makeup application it's just so satisfying <laughs> um so I went in with my Embryolease moisturizer first as my primer and I'm going in with the Embryolease this is kind of like an eye cream but it's super cooling then with my foundation this is the makeup forever ultra hd foundation stick an oldie but a goodie okay <laughs> it's so good um i use the shade y445 it's so so beautiful i forgot how fun this foundation is so good and i'm using my i think this is the huda beauty contour brush um it's so good to blend foundation with especially like a stick creamy foundation i think for this foundation you need a, a brush rather than a sponge and don't forget to go down your neck and chest area because I'm so pale on that area and I do have a top on I thought I, I, I thought I put it out there yeah because you know it looks a bit dodgy <laughs> um now I'm going in with the Versanti foundation and concealer um it's I don't know what shade it is but I'll write all the products and shades in the info box as always um but I'm going with this under my eyes forehead and bridge on the nose and this concealer is so bomb the coverage is insane like look just look at this like look it's crazy like look at the difference between one side and the other i actually do have quite a bit of pigmentation on my eyes you know but you know with a good concealer you can just cover it all up you don't have to but i usually do this for glam glam look when I'm going out but if every day I don't really cover my eyes that much to be honest but now we're going in with some beauty bakery powder this is their banana powder and just basically set wherever you want it to be matte for me that's usually the center of my face my smile lines and I leave it in for like a few seconds to set a bit and then I brush it right off then I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer. I think this is caramel and I'm just bronzing my face. I'm really going in with this because I wanted it to look super tan. And yeah, just love my bronzer. Next I'm going to use the Revolution Pro 4K Blush Palette. This is the peach one. And I'm going to put the, I think it was a bright peach colour that I pointed to on my cheeks try not to go too overboard because i love to do that you know and i'm going back with the same powder and just carving out under just like my cheekbone because this just frames my face a bit i like to do it when i do extra like glam looks like this then i'm using the bobby brown bronze glow highlighter which is so so nice i feel like if you are like a makeup holder like me and you have brown skin especially you need this highlighter then for brows, I feel like I never show you guys my brows in my videos, so here is a bit of it. I'm using the Benefit Brow Styler in the shade 5 and just kind of like drawing in my arc and going under like my brow just to straighten it up a bit. And yeah, I don't really do much. I just make sure I do the arc bit because I don't have hair, much hair there. I'm putting a bunch of castor oil on it, so hopefully my brows grow back in that bit. And then I'm using my Gimme Brow by benefit in shade four and just setting my brows in place because my hairs go all over in all directions i'm not even kidding you now for eyeshadow i'm using the mini obsessions palette this is a sapphire one by huda, huda what oh my god i had a proper slur there <laughs> by huda beauty i'm going with a dark matte blue first and just setting that all over my lid and under my eyes as well then I'm going with a lighter blue, it's kind of like a sky blue shade and I'm using this to buff out the darker blue and this really helps to get a really like blended look and you can also um, do the same on your lower lash line as well. And then, then we're going in with this silver shade which is more of like a sparkle and I love sparkles when I do smoky eyeshadow looks because it just makes it look so glam 
and also if it's too dark it can lighten it a bit as well like if you don't want it that dark and i don't know it's just like it's super like glam if on a special occasion like it's just everything just for a bit of more oomph i'm gonna go in with the urban decay heavy heavy metals uh, glitter eyeliner this is in i think it's in glam rock i'm not sure but i'll write in the info box <laughs> Then I'm going in with some Hourglass Mascara just quickly before I put my lashes on my top and bottom lashes. And I'm using the LMX Peri Lashes which are so stunning and so full. Do I feel like they were like £3 from Super Drugs? Definitely recommend them. Now I'm going in with my Versanti Cosmetics Cardual Eyeliner on my waterline, upper and lower waterline. And then finally we've got lips. I'm using the Huda Beauty Spice Girl Lip Contour Pencil just to line my lips and darken the edges a bit because we're going in with a lighter lipstick and then for the actual lipstick i'm using the dose of colors liquid lipstick in knock on wood which is a super pretty beige color like so good for tan skin as well and then i'm going to finish off with some cover effects setting spray and that's it for this look i hope you guys enjoy it give this video a thumbs up if you want more voiceover kind of tutorials like this one subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye